Hello, my name is Cameron Baker. I am an application engineer at Ceratech, and this video will show you how to add the revision name or letter to the end of a data set. Um, the reason this is useful is when you're searching for a specific data set, you may come across multiple data sets that have the same exact name, and there isn't any distinguishing identifier between them. So let's hop in. Right now, I've got my Team Center Rich Client open. And um, you can only make the changes through Rich Client. It will affect Active Workspace, but uh, I like to test on here because the changes can be made here. All right. So as you can see, I have an item created right here, uh, ID number 47, and I've got three revisions. Inside of each of them are two data sets, an Excel and Word doc. Now you can see already that this one is revision A. That's correct. This one is revision B, but the ends of the data sets are still holding on to the A revision. And the same is true for C. Let's say you're trying to search for a data set. You don't want to look for the item revision. You want to go straight to the data sets. So what you would do is you would come up here, you click the search bar, the toolbar. You come over here, you click a general search. Make sure to erase all fields. And here we will put the ID name. And you want to specify the type. We'll choose the Microsoft Word X. Once that's all filled, you will click Execute up here, the screen button, and the search results will be here. Now, the search results, they all say 47A. Now, we know that some of them are revision A, B, and C, but it's giving us only the A revision. So it can get very confusing which one is the correct one. So the way we do that is we're going to go to Team Center Preferences. You go up to the command bar at the top, you'll click Edit, Options. And this will take you to the dialog box that is the Team Center uh, Preferences. Now we know the name of the preference we want to change. So we'll go to the search down at the bottom, and then we'll type in dataset underscore, oops, save as underscore pattern. And it should be the only option. If you click the option, it'll come up with uh, fields populated, we'll click edit. And you can already see um, this is actually the code that you want. Uh, sometimes you'll actually see auto filled, it'll say user text, but you don't want that. The reason why the revision is acting the way it is in this instance is because it's looking for whatever you input. So when you add the data set for the first time, It'll pick up the revision, but when you go to revise it, it'll look for what the data set's name is. It won't count with the revision. So here, we'll just delete this, and we'll replace it with dollar sign, curly bracket, and we want the item ID in the name, and also the revision. So we'll separate that with a backslash, dollar sign, curly bracket, revision ID. Both of these values and the way that um, you know, the curly brackets and the dollar signs are set up, the preference will know what these are talking about. The ID will be the 47, and the revision ID will be the revision letter or number or whatever naming rule you have. You click Save, Close. Um, sometimes it doesn't pick it up right away. You can click the Refresh window. And we'll go to Create a New Item. We'll call this one working revision letter. Click finish. Open up the revision, and we're going to add two of the same data sets the Microsoft Word X and the Microsoft Excel. So it picked up the A just like it did in the previous one, but let's see what happens when we go to revise. Go into revision B right here. And there you have it. It picked up the new change in the revision. Let's revise it one more time to a C. And there you go. It revised again to C. So let's go back to our search. You shouldn't have to click this. It should still be a little tab up here. And instead of 47, we will search for 49. You can keep the type the same. Click Execute. And there you go. So here you can see a 49B, 49A, and 49C. Uh, 
you may notice that there are two C's. Um, either one will work. Um, this one sticking out on the end is a revision sequence. I can talk about that in another video, but um, if you click either of these A's, it'll take you to the revision A, or same for C or B. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Please don't forget to like this video if you thought it was helpful. Um, please subscribe to this channel for more helpful tips, tricks, and tutorials. If you have any questions about what I did, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll be happy to answer th anything I didn't really go over well enough, or maybe I glossed over something too quickly. Thanks. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.